Have you guys heard of the zombie drug xylazine? This is the second story I've done on this. Dr. Stephen Corder didn't think his job treating people addicted to fentanyl in Wheeling, West Virginia could get any harder. But then he began encountering patients who were addicted to both fentanyl and a second drug with its own destructive power, the livestock tranquilizer xylazine. Xylazine is now present in one out of every nine overdose deaths nationwide, but West Virginia, which remains ground zero in the American opioid crisis, with nearly twice as many overdose deaths per capita as its nearest competitor, seems to be taking a disproportionate hit from xylazine as well. It now shows up in at least half of the needles in Wheeling, and between 15 and 20 percent of the needles used statewide. The drug is known for leaving deep flesh wounds. It could sometimes lead to amputations. The wounds develop from skin ulcers that can appear at the point of injection or elsewhere on the body. Laura Weigel, who runs a treatment center for the local YWCA, said one patient recently had her breast and part of her shoulder amputated because of xylazine. A homeless fentanyl user in Wheeling named Brooke has her wounds dressed twice a day with help from a nurse at Catholic Charities. Brooke, who asked Mark Inspires News to withhold her last name, said she is now using xylazine test strips to test for the presence of xylazine in her drug supply. She also said that in addition to leaving wounds, xylazine threw her into repeat seizures. And she said Narcan, the drug used to reverse overdoses, seemed ineffective against xylazine. They Narcaned me four different times and it didn't work. From Puerto Rico to Philadelphia, xylazine is a sedative used by veterinarians to sedate large animals that need surgery. It has never been approved for human use. There's not much research that's been done on the drug and what it does to people, but addiction and withdrawal from xylazine seems similar to that for another sedative used on humans in intensive care units called etemidate. While the Food and Drug Administration have taken steps to stop some imports of xylazine, the drug appears to be easily available from overseas pharmacies. Domestic pharmacies ask buyers for a prescription, but within minutes, Mark Inspires News was able to engage at least five suppliers in India willing to ship xylazine immediately without a prescription. One seller wrote that getting through customs could be difficult, but another one said it will get through customs. And if it doesn't, we'll send another. A bipartisan group of lawmakers in Congress say a push to schedule xylazine, meaning to officially designate it as a drug for potential abuse, is gaining steam. But so far, the bill has not passed the House or Senate. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, Democrat of Nevada, who introduced the bill in February and has led the effort, said she's optimistic. I'm not sure why everybody's dying of this. We have seen already what xylazine can do when it is diverted for illicit purposes. And it is incredibly destructive, she said. What I know from law enforcement in Nevada and really at a national level is that their hands are tied because it's not scheduled. 30 senators are on board, said Cortez Masto, and 39 state attorney generals pushed for it in a letter this past spring. Meanwhile, Charles Mueller, the public health professional at West Virginia University, who oversaw the needle testing study, said it let him give useful real-time data about the state's illicit drug supply. Mueller said local officials were able to pivot quickly to provide users with test strips to check for the presence of xylazine in their drugs. A native West Virginian, he said he lost two people from his community last year from fentanyl overdoses. Mueller said, I've been to way too many funerals to not be 40 yet. Thank you for watching and please share if you know someone who's dealing with addiction, research these test strips and find a way to get them. I think the bigger takeaway from this story should have been get these people help, not let them test the drugs that they continue to use. Let's find a way to get them help with stopping the use of fentanyl. That would be a good start instead of saying, hey, keep using fentanyl, just test it first and make sure it doesn't have xylazine in it. It's a zombie drug. Guys, literally your arm starts to eat itself away. Hopefully you got some valuable information from this story. Please share and I'll see you on the next one.